So one interesting use case then is to use this knowledge and use our senses in return to play. So if you have an injured athlete, it's critically important that you be able to manage their workload and estimate what kind of loads that tissue is experiencing over a period of time so that you can get them back to a state where they're in good health and they can play uh, at the intensity that you need. So one example of this might be if your athletes experience a fatigue damage related injury and this might be a fatigue fracture, it might be uh, tendinopathy. And so what you could do then is you could use our sensors to precisely measure and monitor the intensity of every step that that athlete took. And you can use this information then with our knowledge of bone load, knowing that the intensity is a, is a critical part here and it's more important than the cycles of load. And you can take this into our algorithm to measure a cumulative load score. And then you could just track that athlete over every session. And so you could then precisely manage the workload of that athlete to bring them back to a state where they're ready to play. Now right now, it's very difficult to do that because we have to rely on the qualitative feedback of the athlete about how they feel, uh, you know, how do you manage this, and you know, the trainer's trying to provide some sort of guidance in terms of load, what type of load they should be experiencing. But now with our system, we can precisely measure this, and we can measure it for every session, we can measure it for multiple sessions uh, throughout the recovery process, and then we can manage and adjust the workload that the athlete's experiencing so that they get back to the highest level of performance. Now, another example where you could use this is to really understand where are my players on these kind of load frequency di diagrams, what kind of loads are they experiencing, um, so that I know if they are injured, where were they before, what kind of intensity were they able to uh, perform at. And so one of the key things then is to be able to measure and monitor all of your athletes during play and understand what kind of workload they're experiencing, what's the cumulative load that they have throughout a season uh, so that, again, you can just make sure that, that that tissue is in that zone of homeostasis, that you don't get above or below that threshold to keep your athletes performing. So I hope you enjoyed that session today, learnt a bit about biomechanics of musculoskeletal injury and how this can be applied to managing the workload of your athletes.